you, Princess Lombardo here with Touch Base Thursday, and today I have a special treat for you. I recently gave up Netflix and I started watching YouTube full time. And there's so many amazing YouTubers, but today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorites. So if you'd like to learn all about my favorite YouTuber, keep watching. So I'm so glad you guys could join me today. Oh, that's good. Um, recently, Netflix raised their prices to $13 and I found that I wasn't really watching Netflix. I would be watching YouTube channels uh, to learn about beauty and healthcare and fasting and I was very enthralled with it. I was watching Netflix less and less and Netflix is very seasonal as to when the series I watch update with new episodes. So I found that I would be paying this $13 probably for 11 months out of the year for absolutely nothing. So I canceled it and started to watch YouTube full time. I had already found some YouTubers I really love. But one of the YouTubers that truly stands out is Peter McKinnon. And I'm so sorry for that lame impression I did of you, Peter. But you know how they, what they say, they always say imitation is the best form of flattery. And it truly was meant paying homage to you, our fearless leader of film and YouTube videos. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get on with the review. From the moment you see Peter McKinnon's intro to his show, you know that you have stumbled upon YouTube gold. He is a beautiful cinematographer, photographer, you name it, and it's apparent from his opening. I was mesmerized by his opening. With his boy next door meets tattooed bad boy good looks, Peter is a force to be reckoned with. He's a Canadian photographer, cinematographer, who also does magic. And if you watch him, he sprinkles his Peter McKinnon fairy dust over everything he touches, and it's pure joy. Watch one of his episodes in which he even says he's going to sprinkle some Peter McKinnon dust over his father's studio. And just like that, his father's studio raises up several notches. Not only does it show his talent in setting up a studio, but it shows what an amazing son he is. So there's another thing to love about Peter McKinnon. Peter McKinnon is so good that once you start watching him, you'll be fascinated by everything he does. From chasing a lemon down the street for a Lemons for Leukemia Challenge, to him making his wonderful coffee and drinking it in front of you and making coffee look oh so good. To his tutorials, which are concise and easy for people that are beginners as well as people that are advanced. There's never a dull moment in a Peter McKinnon video. The day that he turned his garage into an inflatable sliding fun zone was great. When they took the jet skis out and he was trying to protect his cameras from getting wet. The day they talked about drone, drone footage and how the laws about drones have changed. All of these things, they just draw you in. They just draw you in. They just draw you in. He has that kind of a knack. So if you're a new YouTuber or even a seasoned YouTuber, watch Peter and see how he just pulls you into his content. He's an amazing storyteller. There's nothing the man can't do. There's so many wonderful things about him. Well, let's talk about something else about Peter. It's so obvious that he cares about his fellow people, his audience, and fellow YouTubers. And there is a couple segments in where he takes viewers' photos and shows what he would do to improve them. But he even adds the caveat that he's not sure he actually made them better, that that's just his different take, and he thought their photos were good to begin with. Just ever a gentleman, Peter. Another thing is that he goes and he shows some of his friends what kind of camera equipment to get and shows them how to vlog. One of my favorite episodes is the day he talks about how he wanted to have lunch with his dad. You need to see that one. And he finds out that his dad is doing a vlog. He immediately rushes over there and to see what it's all about. I mean, it's just pure gold. 
So a quick recap on Peter and why we should love him. He loves coffee. He loves coffee, and so do I. Uh, although I drink decaf, and various com coffee companies even send him coffee to review. He makes the coffee look great. He's a beautiful cinematographer. If you look at some of his photos, um, they're just remarkable, and he has a wonderful canvas to work with in Canada. He also is really well versed in Lightroom. He does a lot of color correcting on his videos and his photos. He's fun. He takes up the jet ski. He drives around on his one wheel. He's a dog owner. He loves animals. He's a husband. He's a good son. He's a good friend. He also highlights and spotlights other YouTubers. Just the other day, I watched one where he flew into New York on the um, Filmmaker Reacts 2 series where he was reacting to some robotic camera shots where they were flinging fruit and throwing fruit into water. He has gone and flown to meet other fellow YouTubers, one in particular that was a leather craftsman. So he just has a heart of gold. He's an avid storyteller. And I really think you need to watch his channel. If you, if you haven't already, he's got so many subscribers. There is nothing that you can't love about Peter McKinnon. So Peter, if you ever see this video, I just want you to know if I was 35 years younger and you weren't married, I'd be on a plane to Canada right now. But I only have one question for you, Peter. Why'd you cut the hair? I mean, you look good with it short, but is there any chance you could grow it back to make an old 58-year-old woman smile again? Anyway, Peter, I'm always gonna watch and uh, keep up the good work and keep teaching those of us that are new to this.